Hello and welcome to Van Life Goodies. If you're new to the channel, we're a family of four who travel in our T5 VW camper van, sharing our adventures and tips and tricks of van life. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to be notified every time we upload a new video. Van life. Reality. <laughs> Hi, we are Van Life Goodies. Follow us on all the socials as we travel in our T5 VW camper van, sharing our adventures, ideas, and product reviews. And today we're asking the question, duvet or sleeping bag? This is the Robins Cooley Twin 2, a four season double sleeping bag. It fits easily under the bed, washes well, and can be split into two singles should you have a row with your partner. Unlike a duvet, the bottom is enclosed, so keeps heat in in winter. So this is the Robins Cooley. One of my first twin. videos was a review on this very sleeping bag. It has lasted years, is easy to install, and is spacious and warm. But at a whopping £180, it is really expensive. You could go for a non-four season cheaper option, but you're going to feel this in winter. So if you do decide to invest in a sleeping bag, may I suggest you make the investment early on. Another downside that might not be relevant for everyone, but it certainly is for me as a middle aged woman, is I need to get up for the loo in the night and I might have a hot flush too. So I need to escape quickly. And this can be more of a problem in a sleeping bag than it can be in a duvet. I have both a 14 tog and 7 tog king size duvet. The cost of both duvets and covers were considerably cheaper than the sleeping bag. So a duvet may be an option for you if cost is a concern. You can personalise your duvet covers to suit the style of your camper van and a single cover is easy to wash when compared to a full sleeping bag, especially if you're on the road long term. The cons to a duvet would be that they are bulky to store, more so for the 14 tog than the 7, but I can still fit mine under the bed just like the sleeping bag. Another con would be they are not enclosed so the heat can escape. I would advise getting a larger one than you need so you can wrap it around you on a cold night. And of course a duvet does allow for easy escape. So what do you think? Please put your comments below to help other people decide. Do you use a sleeping bag or a duvet? For me, it's all down to personal preference, time of year and space available in your van. I've used my sleeping bag for years, but I've now switched to a duvet, which I'm really enjoying. So until next time, sleep well. adventures, product reviews and ideas <laughs> as we travel in our T5 VW camper van for, thank you Macy, T5 VW camper van, no showing too much boob there, one two three days watching me, hi Dave. <laughs>